this thing on? I think it's working. Tell them what we learned at the farmer's market, selling at the farmer's market for the first time. What did you learn at the farmer's market? Um, saying have a good day. Is that what you learned? Mm-hmm. Did you like selling at the farmer's market? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What did you like about it? I like selling food. Yeah? Maybe next time we'll sell some more food. Like cucumbers. Yeah. Yeah. Or tom tomatoes. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. Or, you know. What? Flowers. Oh, the flowers are coming. Yeah. Yeah, that'll make our stand look really pretty. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about our experience selling at our first farmer's market last week. And hopefully, if you are someone that is looking to sell at a farmer's market for the first time, you can learn from some of the mistakes that we made, so you won't make the same ones as well. And I made a big one. Alright, so before we get into the some of the not-so-good stuff, I want to first come out and say that we did make a profit at our first market. Not a lot of money, we only made a little bit over $100, but in our defense we only brought about $250-ish dollars worth of product to our first market, which I think I'm pretty sure a lot of more experienced market uh, sellers would say is, is a waste of time to even bring so little amount of stuff to the market. But for us, it wasn't really about that. I mean, obviously we need to make money at the market to make this venture profitable, but it was really about the experience and learning the process of selling at the market. And that is an invaluable thing that we will take with us for all future markets. And now that we finally have the experience and know what it takes to sell at the market, we won't be so nervous and for future markets that we sell at. So we got all of that stuff out of the way and now we know what it takes to sell at the market. So with all that being said, we, we were not ready to be selling at the market. We didn't have enough product ready. Uh, we didn't have enough to really fill out the table very nicely, but we did have a very nice display at our table and everybody commented, the few people that actually saw our table uh, commented on how nice our layout looked, which was really nice. So we'll know to continue doing the same kind of table layout at future markets. But I want to get into the big mistake that I made selling at our first market, and that was not double checking on where our spot actually was. So I was so excited when I went into the market office and they said that they had one spot remaining for the following Wednesday's market and I was very excited about that and they told me it was spot 27. Um, and I thought that was a good omen because I was born on the 27th, it's my birthday. And they told me to go check and make sure that that spot was okay. And I remember them saying that, you know, I hope you're not picky about which spot that you get because it's the last spot available and they made it seem like it's not a very good spot. So I, they actually offered to come down and show me exactly where the spot was. And I said, no, 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 I'll just go check real quick and look. But in my mind, I was just going to take whatever spot was available because I was just super excited that we would have a spot for a first off um, market and I didn't really care where it was. Um, and I went and looked and the spot that I thought was spot 27 was actually a, there is a pavilion um, area and then there was a different uh, area, I think called the a picnic area or something. So it turns out there was a pavilion area, which is where I thought our spot was. And I remember th going to look at it and thinking, this isn't that bad of a spot. This is the first area people will walk through, you know, when 
they come to the market in, in the um, from the parking lot. It's the first building there. It, it's a big market. This was at the Leesport Farmers Market in Leesport, PA. And there's also a second building behind that building. It's all open air, but it's covered by a roof. And the other building is called the porch. So I didn't even look in that back area. And that turns out to be where my spot porch 27 was. So <laughs> what I did was try, I backed our van up to Pavilion 27 as there was a commercial provider, uh, commercial um, food um, seller there and they were like, what are you doing? This is our spot. We've had this spot for the last 20 years and there must be some kind of mistake and I immediately realized that I probably made a mistake because, you know, they had paid in advance and had been selling there for the last 20 years. So I said, I'm really sorry. Let me go check with the office and find where I'm supposed to be. And then sure enough, I my spot was in Porch 27, right at the end of the back of the market and right next to the cow stalls where this market they also um, auction off cattle and different farm animals. So we had to deal with that smell all day and <laughs> We were, our spot was so bad, it was at the very end of the market where a lot of people, there wasn't a lot of traffic and the only people that we did get were people that were coming to see the cows in the stalls and say hi to the cows and they were like, oh, there's another uh, little food seller, a little farm here. And so we got some sales because of us being next to the cows, um, but we didn't get a lot of foot traffic there. But in our defense, uh, later in the day when uh, the traffic slowed down, I took a look at the other um, area, the pavilion area, which is where a lot of the heavy traffic and is and a lot of the food is sold from other produce providers. And they seemed pretty bored and unhappy. I was looking at the faces of a lot of the sellers like it wasn't like a very good day for them. So I didn't feel so bad about us being with how bad our spot is. Those people had really good spots and there were not a lot of people at the market. So what I learned is that this might not be the market for us unless I could possibly get a better spot in future markets. Um, I don't think a lot of people were there to get fresh pro well there were people there to get fresh produce but there were so many other providers in the in the uh, first uh, pavilion area and a lot of them had already got what they came to the market to get in that area before even if they did come to the back building where we were um, they had already bought the produce that they they came to the market to get so it wasn't a good spot so next time if we don't get a good spot there we are already looking into other markets for selling in the future where there might be more demand for fresh bagged greens and our fresh produce. The one good thing I will mention is that uh, somehow we were the only people selling radishes and people, radishes were a big seller and we sold a lot almost out of our bunches of radishes that we brought to the market so that was cool and people liked, liked the radishes, popular with the older crowd, not much so much with the younger crowd. Now in my last video I showed you our walk-in cooler that I just uh, had finished and I finished building that walk-in cooler on last week on Monday and that left all day Tuesday to prepare for the market on Wednesday so basically the entire day Tuesday I was harvesting food and washing food and bagging food and we were doing that all day until midnight and then we were up at 5 30 in the morning to get ready to pack up for the market so a lot of starting this farm is getting a lot of our systems in place like it did with our uh, water sprinkling system that took me a few days to dig out the trench that I needed to connect everything and now that I have that that saves me a lot of time because I was hand watering everything and it took me you know, some time to get that walk-in cooler finished, but now that that's done, I can start to improve on our efficiency in getting ready for the markets. I can start slowly, days before 
a coming market, I could start slowly harvesting and preparing and bagging food um, days in advance because I have the walk-in cooler that I could harvest them and immediately put them in the cooler to keep them fresh until we need to sell them at the market. So that will help in future weeks. Um, but this first week was, it was rough. We had to do it all very quickly, all day and until early in the, into the morning. And we're gonna burn ourselves out if we're doing that every single week. So fortunately we got the walk-in cooler done and next time we sell, we will know which things to harvest earlier in the week and which things need to be cut later to stay more fresh. So we're learning. This is all part of the learning process. Uh, I'm glad that we had these little growing pains first so we know what mistakes not to make in the future. And hopefully we'll be able to just focus on selling our food and our next thing that is going to be it is getting our name out there maybe possibly approaching some local restaurants which i wasn't planning to do until next year but i might reach out to a few local restaurants to see if they would perhaps be interested in a few pounds of bagged greens each week for their salads uh, couldn't hurt to at least put my name out there even if they you know already are set with um, somebody providing them with the greens um, because I want this to be more of a, a local thing. I want to be able to provide our food as local as possible. So we need to start getting our name out there. We need to start finding different markets and finding where we have a market for our fresh produce. And that's what we're going to be doing in the upcoming weeks. So I'll keep you all updated on our progress, but I just wanted to make our little diary of our first farmers market and let everybody know how it went uh, good not great it was a good learning experience but hopefully things will get a lot better moving forward so that's gonna wrap up this video uh, thank you for watching uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time oh wow Lucy's beads Wow. hello are you Lucy? Is this your market stand? What do you sell? Necklaces. Necklaces? How, how many? How much are they? Um. Five dollars? Okay. Can I have one? Um, sure. That's not a necklace. That's a card. But. I want my money back. I don't, I don't have any necklaces. Oh, did you sell out?